so today welcome to another try DIY we are going to be trying out the DIY okra gel for hair growth for dandruff this is also a great treatment for dry scalp this is also a great all-natural conditioner for the hair and you can use this also as well as a leave-on conditioner and of course a hair mask I lost some clips to this video but I'm just gonna go ahead and reenact to you guys later on how um, I made some and how I applied it on my hair and also I'm gonna be telling you my experience and my first impression with it so let's get started so okra is great for hair growth because it contains antioxidants and as well vitamin A and C folic acid and biotin which are essential for growing your hair long and strong and this is also great for conditioning and nourishing the hair and it helps get rid of dandruff while moisturizing the scalp this can be used as a leave-in conditioner a wash off conditioner or a hair mask now I'm planning to use 10 of these for my scalp so you'll need to cut off the top and the bottom part and then slice it in the middle and then in a pot I placed everything there and I added about two cups of water for the gel or the mucilage to come out I let this cook for for about 30 minutes and while it's cooking I sort of mash it so after that I took it out and then I strained it and then I purged out the gel because this is the most important part here so right now that's what it looks like and after that I will put that in the fridge to let it cool for a while and after that you'll see that it's going to thicken up even more so in this batch I will be using this one as a hair mask so I will be adding some almond oil because this is also great for conditioning the hair and I'll add in and three tablespoons of it and then the second batch that I'll make is for the conditioner okay so since I'm aiming this for hair growth I'm simply going to put this all over my scalp you can also put this all over your hair but my main focus is just right here by the way after this I'm just gonna leave this on my head for 30 minutes and then wash it off with my shampoo I actually have another batch uh, that I made like this without the oil and I'm gonna use that as a conditioner so now I'm gonna put that by sections all over my head this is what it looks like on my scalp right now right now I actually smell like a laswa if you guys don't know what laswa is it's actually a Filipino vegetable dish and I smell like a vegetable soup right now also on the second batch of the aloe vera gel that I'm going to put on my hair as a wash off conditioner I'm gonna put that all over my hair and wash my hair with that conditioner and that's it I think it's a great conditioner for the hair I really felt like my scalp not only has been moisturized but also has been cleansed and also since I used the almond oil it was very very easy to lather on my scalp now regarding when you use it as a conditioner um, it, I find that it's also good but the effect is not the same as if I use my conditioner I mean your hair does feel soft it wasn't as soft as if I was using my conditioner probably because my hair is still adjusting to it it's like the first time um, of me using it on my hair so the only thing to this is that when you wash it off it doesn't really have any scent to it and I'm the type of person who I really like my hair to smell good but I guess that's what you get when you use the all you know the all natural products so but overall I think it's still good now for the leave-in conditioning part I find it doesn't really weigh down your hair that much except of course if you add on a lot of it because it's really gonna make your hair look like it's wet it's gonna give you this kind of ish wet look now regarding the smell the smell is not actually pungent or anything it doesn't have a strong smell if you guys are sensitive to the okra or if you're allergic to it please do not use this because you're gonna let this stay on your hair for a long time overall I do like it and the result is really really good all right so that is it you guys I hope you all like this video and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what more try DIYs or what more DIYs you all would like me to try and I will see you on my next one bye